Man of Steel is directed by Zack Snyder and stars uh, Henry Cavill as Superman, if I've pronounced that name right. Uh, also stars Amy Adams, Michael Shannon and a few other people in this movie. So and this is the reboot of Superman. Uh, there was another reboot of uh, Superman Returns, but it wasn't very success for the box office. Oh yes, Christopher Nolan has been one of the producers in this movie. Uh, he did the Dark Knight trilogy. I reviewed the Dark Knight trilogy. So if you want to check out all my reviews for those. This will be my review of Man of Steel. So it will be. And so yeah, let's get into... Man of Steel. So, Man of Steel, uh, this was released in 2013. Uh, this was a film back then has been looking forward to by a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people love Superman. Uh, a lot of people have been really looking forward to this. Uh, yeah, simply because of Christopher Nolan uh, producing it. Uh, because uh, the film looks fantastic. But overall, guys... For me, I was not a fan. Yeah. Now, this is going to be containing some spoilers. I'm not... There isn't going to be that many spoilers, actually, because, believe it or not, this movie is just forgetting... It's just a forgettable film. Yeah, I understand what the critics are saying. Uh... They still think it's a good film. Yeah, I understand what the critics are saying. You know, the critics are saying it's fine. It's good. Yeah, it's fine. It's not good as the Dark Knight trilogy. You know, it's okay. Yeah, I kind of agree, to be honest, because uh, it's just completely forgettable. Uh, but let's talk about the positives first, because there are some... Uh, uh, Henry's uh, Superman is pretty good. Uh, I like Superman in this film. Uh, you know, he's he doesn't do the best performance ever, but but he's but he's pretty damn good as Superman in this movie. Uh, plus, I like the score to the movie. Uh, the score is is very good. Uh, I love the score actually. Uh, you know, you know it's a very different looking score, but I actually kind of like it. And there are some pretty cool action sequences. So yeah, that's really it. So, the film starts off, uh, uh, with, uh, Superman being born, like, Clark Kent, uh, Clark Kent is getting birth. Uh, it is the exact same thing as the original Superman movie. Yeah, well, it's just, you know, it's just landing and, uh, then, um, Clark Kent, uh, is, uh, hold on a minute, uh, he's age 13, and, uh, sorry about that, guys, and basically what happens is there's a yellow bus, it's, uh, trying to, uh, get into the, uh, river, yeah, and, and, uh, Clark Kent basically, uh, gets it out, so yeah, that's actually a pretty cool scene. Actually, I forgot to mention that. Uh, I'm mentioning it right now. Uh, I like that scene. It's it's good. Yeah, the yeah the the direct thing uh, is good. Yeah. Yeah, but there aren't that many good things about it. Yeah, because some people like it, and some people actually hated this movie. Yeah. Yeah, first of all, let's get to uh, General Zod. Uh, 
he's a good villain. Uh, he's a good villain, in my opinion, in this movie. But I, but I just thought it didn't. I mean, I mean, I just thought he wasn't the best uh, looking Superman villain. I mean, I mean. I mean, he's good in this movie, but but I just felt like he wasn't perfect enough. So yeah. Oh yeah, guys. There's this great scene uh, where Clark Kent gets his Superman suit, and there's some very good scenes where Superman is just flying, and there are some good uh, action sequences. Yeah, yeah. The the fight scene between Superman and General Zod is pretty good. Yeah, and spoiler alert: uh, uh, General Zod dies. So he does. Yeah, he does die. So yeah, and. Uh, Amy Adams was, uh, pretty good in the movie. Yeah, she was actually pretty good. Yeah, overall, guys, Man of Steel, for me, it's just a forgettable movie. I mean, there are some good action sequences, and I really like the score. But there are some things that I don't like about it. Yeah, it's some of some of the pacing is just not really good. Yeah, it's just it's just a forgettable film. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you like this film, that's fine. You're free to disagree. If you if you really enjoy this movie, uh, you're free to disagree. Uh, I don't mind if anyone disagrees. You know, yeah, you're free to disagree. Like I just said. So overall, guys, I'm giving Man of Steel a f 5 out of 10, guys. I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. Yeah, it just doesn't work for me, but oh well. But yeah, guys, uh, that was my review. And uh, Batman v Superman, uh, Dawn of Justice is next. Uh, I'll be doing a spoiler re-review of the movie and as well as a spoiler review and I have two special uh, uh, I have a special thing which I'm probably going to do on Google uh, Plus uh, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna uh, start it tomorrow so yeah I'm probably gonna start it tomorrow at some point uh, yeah if I'm allowed to then I'm definitely gonna do it uh, it's on Google Plus. Uh, if I'm allowed to do it, then you'll find out uh, what it is. You'll probably know what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be some surprise reviews. If I do it, uh, look forward to that. Uh, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, uh, what did you think of Man of Steel? Did you love it? Did you like it? Did you thought it was okay? Or did you not like it? Or did you hate it? Let me know below. And as always, guys, you can comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time, and peace. the location guys and yes I just got out of bed and I had breakfast but um I'll be doing a pool uh, vote thing on Google Plus uh, you'll find out what it is I'm gonna be reviewing two films and you'll be deciding uh, which um which do you want me to review first so uh, the Google Plus my account will be in the description below thanks for listening